Now today, the province of Mpumalanga will launch the National No Stolen Goods campaign. The campaign has already been to KZN and to the Eastern Cape. The National Police Minister, Nati Nthleko, hopes to use this campaign to encourage public discourse on other projects he has planned for 2015, such as the professionalization of the police force and reducing violence in our communities. Well, he joins us now from our Nelspreit studios, and uh, let's welcome our Minister of National Police. It's good to have you. Thank you very, very much for being with us on the program. Yeah, good morning, ma'am, and good morning to your viewers as well. Thank you very much. Minister, why are you having provincial launches for the No Stolen Goods campaign? Essentially, the campaign itself is, is a national campaign. Um, the, the question of where do we launch it is really just a matter of choice in terms of location and so on. But it's, it's, it's a national campaign which is part of a national effort that if we were to talk about a, you know, a safe and, and secure South Africa, then it is important to also look into these aspects as part of the overall national effort yeah. to build peace and development in our society. Yeah. So it's, it's going to each of the provinces. And now, um, the, this, is, this is in Pumalanga, your, your, your stop at this point. Yes. Uh, talk to us about yeah. the launch. What's going to happen today? We, 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 have, uh, we have collaborated with a number of uh, uh, leaders in, 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 in our society. We have uh, traditional leaders, we have church leaders, religious leaders, sorry. Um, <coughs> we have all and political leaders as well and so on, as well as government uh, sort of uh, leadership and so forth. And members of the community in, the, in an area called Masoi uh, at the sports ground. That's where we'll be congregating to try largely to conscientize our people about the danger of stolen goods uh, in, uh, in our society. And effectively what it means is that we need to take out the economic incentive out of, the, out of a, a, a stolen goods, for an example, so that um, we then expand the market from our society uh, in, 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 in broader terms. Uh, so that that in itself also con you know, becomes a contribution to scaling down the level of violence, be it murder, be it rape, be it serious injuries and so on, arising out of yeah. stolen good, uh, goods uh, activities and yeah, so forth. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about everything, mm. uh, no doubt. I mean, anything mm. that's stolen, and uh, add to that as well, I mean, anything that's pirated, because that, I think, is, is coupled in stolen. That's, that's, that's stealing someone's livelihood. No, no. <coughs> No, it's true. I, I think we need to go back to, to the basics. I mean, the problem that sometimes we have uh, in our society is to think of stolen goods from a policing point of view. Now, policing is about arresting, but the issue of stolen goods is largely a moral question, yeah. for an example. Um, we need to cultivate a sense that says you need to be proud about working for something. You know, in order for you to have something, you must work for it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and take pride in, in that sort of uh, uh, sense. So I, I, I <clears throat> part of the challenge, therefore, that we need to face is exactly this particular uh, issue that, uh, you know, we, 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 we are beginning to experience a situation where uh, shortcuts are good, uh, but also uh, not taking pride in, in, in who we are and what we do. Yeah. Let's, um, mm. let's look at, uh, there's always been good initiatives to engage the public on reducing violence in our communities. Um, mm. But this somehow is, you know, this is, this is really speaking at the root cause of it. Because as you say, if you, if you take out the demand for the good, if you, I mean, nobody is going mm. to steal and hold somebody up if they're, they're not going to get a price for it. And I mean, that's the, that's the reality. Mm. If you buy a stolen good, you've almost got blood on your hands. Yes, no, it's true. In yeah. fact, what also happens is that not only just do you have blood in your hands, you become an accomplice to a absolutely. criminal act. Absolutely, absolutely. And it an is a crime. Of, of, yeah, it is a crime. Yeah. You're an extension of the criminal himself and yeah. so forth. So that's, that's how we need to view it and understand it. Okay. Minister, one of your programs mm. as well, just on a different, pro um, uh, on a different conversation, All right. um, you, your anticipated program for next year is called the duty calls program and basically encouraging those in the police service to enter the tertiary space and professionalize their work. Uh, tell me a little bit more about this. It's, it's actually a broader, 
It's a broader approach. You, you remember that uh, Chapter 12 of the National De Development Plan, sorry, it talks to the issue of professionalization, demilitarization, and whatever, whatever, and so forth. And therefore, we need to, we're starting to, 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 to react to some of these policy positions, for an example, in terms of um, the future perspective and the overall outlook of what a police service should be like uh, in, uh, in South Africa. And therefore, one of the critical uh, areas is the question of <coughs> how well equipped are we uh, as a South African police service, for an example, to actually meet up this kind of uh, a challenge, a, a policy challenge, if I may call it that way. So uh, the question of professionalization takes form in, in all sorts of different ways. One of, one of them, of course, uh, is what we have just spoken to, and the fact that we, have, we now have got uh, a, a university in PAL for police and so forth. But another one is the question of how do we treat members of the community as and when they walk into a police station? What kind of service should we be in a position to render to members uh, of, of, uh, of our community in a, in, a, in a local area, for an example? And for this reason, that's why last week the, the Deputy Minister of Police also launched a program uh, in, the, in the Northwest, a, you know, a frontline service delivery a project. Now, that project is going to enable us as the police uh, to at least study some of the trends and the manner in which things have got to be done and look at how we then have got to model that one out across uh, our police stations in the country and, 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 so, and so it goes. Okay. So it's a, <coughs> it's a multi-dimensional uh, kind of uh, yeah. uh, focal point in a sense uh, when we talk to the issue of professionalism. Great, it's a great initiative. But yeah. um, for now, Minister, I know you're focusing in on the national No Stolen Goods campaign. We wish you the best of luck mm. with that. And thank you for taking the time to talk to us here on Morning Live. No, thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much. Well, that's our Minister of Police, uh, Natia Nkleko, talking to us from our Nelspreet studios. So it's already been launched, this particular campaign, in KZN in the Eastern Cape, and now it's, uh, it's in Pumalanga. That's where the Minister is. All right, let's take a break. We'll see you after this.